everyone how are you all doing welcome you back in my geography classes today we will start with the new chapter of class 8 chapter 3 the mineral and power resources in this video we will discuss about the minerals we will know about the features of the minerals about the rocks and the ores now without wasting much of our time let's get started now before I start let me ask you a question have you ever went to any mine have you seen a black substance that is obtained in the mine? Do you know what is that black substance? It is a coal. Now what is a coal called? It is a mineral. I hope everybody has seen that your mother has a lot of jewelries which are either made from gold or, they, or she can have a diamond jewelry. Now what is this gold and diamond called? These are called as minerals. You know in food if you will not have salt the food will not become testy. The pencil that we use to write, there we have graphite. The salt, the graphite, all this are considered as minerals. So let us know what you mean by a mineral. So what is a mineral? A naturally occurring substance that has a definite chemical composition, physical properties and an ordered atomic arrangement that the crystalline structure is referred as a mineral. What are the examples of minerals? Limestone, mica, gold, diamond. All these are examples of the minerals. Now let us know some important facts about minerals. So we can say that minerals are naturally occurring substance. So a plastic which is a man-made, we cannot call it as a mineral. What we can call as a mineral? The naturally occurring substance. A mineral is a solid substance. A mineral should have definite chemical composition mineral are inorganic that is not living or formed by living things the atoms that makes up the substance should be arranged in an ordered structure. So what are the facts that we came to know about the minerals? That minerals are naturally occurring substance. They are solid. They have definite chemical composition. They are inorganic, not living or formed by living things. And the atoms that make up the substances should be arranged in an ordered structures. Now, these minerals are not evenly distributed all over the earth. We will see that there are some places where the minerals are available in a vast amount and there are some places where they lack in mineral resources. So let us see that what are the other features of minerals. Now as I said that minerals are not evenly distributed all over the space. They are found in particular areas or in rock formations. Now we will see that the minerals are found in some areas which are inaccessible like the Arctic Ocean bed, the Antarctic 
which becomes very much difficult to access the minerals which are available in Arctic Ocean Bed and Antarctic. Now the minerals are formed under different geological environment. So under different geological environment, we will see that the minerals are formed under different processes. So we can say that the minerals which are found in different regions, they are formed under different geological environment and under different processes. Now let us know how we can identify the minerals. The minerals are identified on the basis of two characteristics. Number one is the physical composition or physical characteristics that is on the basis of its density, hardness, color and number two on the basis of the chemical composition or chemical characteristics like solubility. So the minerals are identified on the basis of two characteristics, the physical characteristics or the physical composition and the chemical composition or the chemical characteristic. Now there are over 3000 minerals which are identified till death. How many minerals are there? Over 3000 minerals which are identified till death. Now it is very important to know that minerals are the building blocks of rocks. So to understand mineral, we also need to understand rocks. So let us know what do you mean by a rock. Now let us know what is a rock. A rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals without definite chemical composition of the constituent of the minerals that makes up the earth's crust. So a rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals without definite chemical composition of the constituent of the minerals that makes up the earth's crust. Now there are three types of rocks. which you people have already read about that are the igneous rocks. Now this type of rocks are formed by the magma that comes out during the volcanic eruption. These rocks are formed either in the interior of the earth or when the magma comes out, when it cools at the surface of the earth, then it forms the extrusive type of igneous rocks and in the interior of the earth, it forms the intrusive type of igneous rocks. Number two, the sedimentary rocks. Number three, 
Now when the rocks are formed after cooling down at the surface there are some rocks the smaller rocks which get washed away by the agents of erosion now as they get washed away as they roll down washed away they get broken into more smaller pieces of rocks which get deposited on the bed of the oceans and there due to compression due to pressure we will see that it transforms into the sedimentary type of rocks and number three is the metamorphic rocks now here in metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure we know that the igneous rock and the sedimentary rock completely change to a new form of rocks that is metamorphic rocks now when we talk about rocks we also need to know about ore because the rocks may have minerals may have one minerals or may have more minerals but all the rocks are not mined which rocks are mined where they have more amount of mineral constituent in it and that is referred as an ore now let us see what is an ore now what is an ore the rocks that are mined to extract the minerals now for example you have a cookie and it has lots of chocolates in it now what you will do you will extract the chocolate because it is large in number and you can get a lot of chocolates from here so we can resemble the cookie and the chocolates with an ore so a rock which have more number of minerals in it this rocks are mined so that we can extract the minerals because it will be economically beneficial but if you have only one type of mineral that can be found in a particular type of rock obviously it will be not economically beneficial or feasible and we cannot extract the minerals from that rock what we call as ore the rocks that are mined to extract the minerals that are economically beneficial then only thing we can call it as an ore for example iron ore manganese ore so these are the rocks that are mined to extract the minerals and that are economically beneficial so in today's video what we understood we discussed about the definition of minerals like what are minerals what are the facts of we got to know about different facts of minerals we got to know that how we can identify the minerals what are the different characteristics what are the different features of minerals we also got to know about the rocks and we know that minerals are the building blocks of the rocks so we got to know the definition of rock the three types of rocks and also what is an ore i hope everybody understood what has been taught in this video what you will do you will read your ncrt you will read in between the lines and also you will follow the pdf that has been provided in the description box below if you have any problem or any suggestion you can comment in the comment box given below if you like my video and my content don't forget to hit the like button and do comment if you like my work if you are new to my channel do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for further notifications of my upcoming videos till then stay safe and stay at your home and stay tuned for my upcoming videos thank you